we've received a couple of requests on casting the heavier grinder or spinning setups. Now when I mean heavier we're talking about rods 13 foot to the 15 foots we get now uh, with the bigger the 8,000 and 6,500 and you can even do it with your 5,000 reels on a 13 foot rod. You'll be doing it the following way. Now first what I want to cover guys is in South Africa we've had some questions from overseas, our overseas viewers, why our reel is in the bottom. Now very simple as we know the spinning gear on the fresh water side and the lighter rock and surf side and overseas on some of the heavier rock and surf spinning outfits the reel will sit up top here. We've moved that for two reasons. In South Africa trying to fight a big fish up here with your reel setting it like that doesn't work. Now I know in a lot of countries they make it even longer and they put it between their legs on the ground and they fight a fish like that. That will not work with the size of fish we're catching here. It's totally uncomfortable. So we moved it down and got another benefit out of, out of that by doing just that, is moving the reel down. We've now got a comfortable fighting position for your reel to sit and really pull a fish really fight it very comfortable but what it did as well in the casting it's now on your left hand when you cast and your right hand is there so basically over your head you are pulling down so the weight on the hand that's pulling down which just assists in speed should it be on your right hand your pushing hand you've got the rod weight the sinker weight the swing weight as well as the reel additional which will slow down your cast so by moving the reel down for comfort, we assisted in the method of casting to get better distance and to cast better. Okay, now before we go to casting, I just want to run you guys through the two methods of casting. Now today I've got the Grind Elite 15 foot, which I'm going to show you guys how we cast with that. The reason I use this rod, it suits me. There's a 14 foot 6, there's a 15 foot on the heavy rods. To cast big baits and get a lot of distance, the 15 foot happens to suit me. There's people with the same length as me that prefers the 14 6. Uh, that has had both rods, testing them to see what's the best distance. And on this, I've matched it with my 8000 Saltus reel. Now, over the years, when spinning kind of started growing into our nature and then rock and surf for bigger fish, we tested all kinds of reels. Now the first thing you, we did is we bought the reel on the box that says long cast spool which is a narrower but higher spool. Okay and that's all great it does cast further and assist in fresh water and light diameters of line it did make a difference. But the problem was when you've got those long narrow spools logically when that reel uh, the line strips off it strips much faster than what it does with this bigger outside diameter. It's a smaller diameter, so it strips faster. Secondly, it's a high spool, which means there's a lot, of, lot more resistance in it coming off the spool. And all of that results in breaking your cast a little bit. It doesn't come off the reel as fast as these. Another reason is we're using much thicker diameter than the very thin stuff you would use on a long cast spool which means there's a bit of resistance sitting on itself. Now with a more compact spool but wider spool, you're getting more distance and that was tested. After we tested it, we converted it or I converted it back to theory as to why these spools cost better than the narrow, longer spools, which is long cost spools. Okay guys, now I'm gonna run you through these, these uh, little apparatus and gloves we use to cast with braid. Firstly, this is much heavier gear, so as soon as you start casting four or five ounce up with baits, you're going to need some of these little apparatus to cast better. Okay, the reason you'll need a glove or apparatus is the braid can cut into your finger. Because you're casting bigger baits, there's more torque in your cast, more thrust with the longer rods and the heavy bait. So should your drag just by accident be loose and this line slips, or for any other reason, it cuts right through to the bone. It will actually cut your, your, your fingertip off. A little ingenious little uh, McAfter they, they designed is the breakaway cast clip. As fitted standard on the Grind Elite rods, this is the original breakaway. Now what you'll do is you'll add your line or braid twice around and hold it. Okay, so instead of holding it with your finger, you're holding the trigger. Then you clip over and you cast. 
and when you release it's very simple it goes so no more burning fingers no more cutting fingers another very important part of this is to get proper distance or better distance you want your leader to go once or rather twice to be safe around the spool then you cut your drop to the right length like you prefer it after that you'll hook it on put it around twice like that hold it flick over your bail arm and you're ready to cast now the other method which was basically the way we all started is using a glove this is a kingfisher leather i prefer the proper leathers if you can get them it gives you a better feeling and uh, the result in your cast is much better you put that around now this is a bit loose i've used it for a couple of years i just flick it around my thumb okay and then you stick your finger in then it's just down to old-fashioned casting you'll flick it over and you'll release it with your finger if you don't have a breakaway a breakaway clip okay now let's go to the casting all the basic methods apply like we've discussed before all right so let's go to the beach and look at the basics as we did in the multiplier casting series guys it's important to have the basics right the same thing applies with spinning or grinder gear the only difference is you don't need the thumb or line control you need on a multiplier reel so let's start first things first your left foot pointing in the direction you want to cast your right foot to an angle with that in the back to create stability you're going to use your left arm to pull down right arm to push up you will be releasing your sinker or your clip from 10 to 11. now here's a little hint when it comes to casting a grinder rod it's slightly different than a multiplier the action of the rods different the line you're using is different so i find that i'm releasing a little bit earlier with my grinder setup than what i do with my multiplier setup so let's just explain that where i might be with my multiplier releasing at 11 o'clock i'm releasing at 10 30 or quarter past 10 with my grinder rod so it's slightly earlier now first things first is start with the overhead cast to get used to where to release it not pushing it too hard not trying to cast fall just getting used to where to release to get a 45 degree angle remember your head 45 degrees in the air and you're aiming up don't look at the water where you want to cast you're looking into the air 45 degrees follow through with the cast and do this a couple of times to get used to where to release your sinker the next step is getting into the swing that gets you additional power and distance as a result the most important part of swinging is do it slowly a longer drop will give you a longer pause period for your sinker to connect and follow through with your cast the most important part of swinging is doing it slowly gradually and making sure that when you come through with a rod it connects to the sinker at that almost zero movement the sinker reaches so when it stands still in the air that's when the rest of your body comes through with a full cast and that will give you the best results that takes practice guys so let's run through it again left foot pointing in the direction of where you want to cast head's going to end up 45 degrees looking 45 degrees into the air where you want to cast your swing to be gradual and to connect where that sinker stands still in the back the follow through happens by pulling down on your left arm and pushing with your right arm okay guys it's as simple as that casting a grinder rod is not much different than casting anything else you just need to get used to the weight of a longer rod bigger baits bigger sinkers and the timing of your release clip or glove once you've got that underhand the rest comes easy make sure to practice a lot and enjoy